Hello. I wanted to share with you guys this new project, the new cell I've been working on. Uh, the new cell is 26 plates. Uh, it's running four neutrals, five cells, it's four and five. Um, the plates are eight inch by six inch. And uh, I'm using a six inch reservoir. Um, because uh, I don't want to put water in this thing when I'm driving this thing, so I want it to hold a lot of water. And uh, so I won't have to fill it up very often. Um, the plates are 316L stainless steel, uh, 20 gauge. Uh, I'm using a house shaped gasket. The gaskets are 1 8 inch Buna N. And uh, over here, um, the meter on the left is showing the current, and the meter on the right is showing the voltage going into the cell. Go. Next to that is my thermal infrared thermometer, and I shoot it. There you can see that's uh, 97 degrees, and it's uh, producing pretty good right now. Um, well, we can do a run real quick. Uh, let's see, we've got 21.8 amps at 11.96 volts. We'll come over here to the HHometer and. Uh, I'm going to use this clock over here. Uh, I know you can't see the second hand, but I'm going to start it on the number six. There you go. Okay. Here it comes. This bottle's one liter. Uh, the marks on the bottle are 100 milliliters. Okay, we're coming up on 30 seconds. There's 30 seconds. 35. 40. 3. 43 seconds. So, you guys can do the math. Um, right now I'm averaging about 5.5 mmw when it's hot and when it's cold it seems to run a bit more efficient at a 5.6 I was really hoping to get a little higher uh, mmw out of it but I don't know I, I don't have the the good luck that like some of these guys that are saying they're getting six and seven and eight I, I don't know how that's even possible I mean I've done just about everything I could possibly think of. The only thing I could think of that might make theirs more efficient would be the potassium hydroxide. Uh, right now I've only got access to sodium hydroxide, so that's what I'm using. Uh, right now this system holds a gallon and a half, and in a gallon and a half of distilled water I've got about 50 milligrams or 50 grams of sodium hydroxide. Anyway, um, I just wanted to show you this other thing here real quick. Here's the here's what the top of the cell looks like. Water flowing through there. Um, this back here, these wavy lines, this is my uh, poor man's DC shunt. I've got two I've got two 16 inch or two 16 inch long 10 gauge copper wires I got two of them. And the reason I'm using two is so when I'm pulling a lot of current, the larger, um, the longer lengths end up by doubling them up, dissipates a lot more heat. So I don't have a, as much of a problem with the wires getting hot as if I used a shorter um, single piece of copper. Now back here, this is a switcher power supply for an old laptop and it's rated at 12 volts at 18 amps 
and then just below it you can see the gray box below it that's an ATX power supply and it is also rated at 18 amps and I'm running those in parallel to drive this cell um, I'm going to be trying this with a, a high voltage DC and uh, see what the numbers are I don't plan on using the high voltage DC to run it in my vehicle um, but uh, I want to give it a try and just see what my numbers are anyway um, that'll be another video and I look forward to you guys' comments and send me a message whatever um, as most people know I answer any questions so I will get back to you when I can uh, thanks for watching and, and uh, I appreciate all those of you who have uh, subscribed I appreciate it Thanks. Bye.